Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. So in the playlist of DFA NFA complete guide, today we will be discussing about a problem where we need to draw a DFA or we need to construct a DFA which will accept all the binary numbers which will be divisible by 4 and also we will be having another DFA which will accept the ternary numbers which will be divisible by 4. Okay. So going forward to the, our today's discussion point. So that's obviously construct a DFA for binary numbers which is divisible by 4. Okay. So firstly the binary number. So as we told in the last video, if you remember the last video, there it was divisible by 3. Okay. Instead of 4, the very basic difference was there it was the a binary number which was divisible by 3. Okay. So for that we did something like this. So binary number, right? So binary number means there will be 0 and 1. Okay. And divisible by 3 or 4 means divisible by 4 means there will be 3, I mean 4 kinds of remainders. Okay. So our state table will look like this. Okay, 0, 1, there q0, q1, q2, as well as q3. Now the binary number should be completely divisible by 4. It means that our q0 will be our initial state as well as our final state, right? And there will be four states. So I told you to write the states like this q0, q1, q2, q3. Again, q0, q1, q2, q3. Okay. So this is the table for the given question, right? And we can obviously draw the state diagram too. So state diagram will be q0 will be our initial state as well as final state fine so getting 0 will be in the same state by getting 1 will go to q1 from q1 if we are getting 0 then we will go to q2 and if we get 1 then we will reach to q3 fine from q2 from q2 if we get 0 then we will come back to q0 okay if we get 1, then we will come back to Q1. And from Q3, if we get 0, we will go to Q2. Okay. And if we get 1, we will be staying into the same state Q3. Okay. So, by this, basically by this trick or hack, we don't need to go to the detailed analysis that how a binary number, which is divisible by 4, how is it analyzed into the string? Okay, we, we don't need to think about all of them. We can just directly draw the state table. We can directly write the state table and as well as we can directly construct the state diagram of the DFA. Okay, so this was the example for binary number. Now we'll same example on ternary numbers. Okay, so we'll draw a DFA where, the, where uh, a ternary number will be divisible by 4. Okay, so ternary number means like the base is 3. Okay, where in the binary number the base was 2. But in ternary number, the base will be 3 and these are the symbols that we will be using. And divisible by 4 means there will be 4 states, right? 4 states means 4 remainders, okay? 4 remainders can be there. So, the corresponding state table will, will just make the same thing, right? So, there will be 1, 0, 1, okay? These 3 inputs can be there and there will be 4 states. That is Q0, Q1, Q2, as well as Q3. Okay. So here the Q0 will be our initial state as well as final state. Okay. And we will we'll write the whole thing like this Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Again Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Finally again Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Okay. This was our state table, right? So we will be uh, drawing the similar state diagram, okay, for the given state table. So state diagram will be our Q0 will be initial state as well as the final state, right? So by getting 0, we will be in Q0. By getting 1, we will go to Q1. And by getting 2, we will be going to Q2, right? So from Q1, by getting 0, we will be going to Q3. By getting 1, we will go to Q0. And by getting 2, we will be in the same state, Q1. Okay. 
and uh, again for q2 so q0 is done q1 is done for q2 by 0 we will be in the same state q2 by 1 we will go to q3 okay by 1 we will go to q3 and by 2 we will be going to q0 okay by 2 we will be going to q0 again for q3 by 0 we will be going to q1 by 0 we will be going to q1 by 1 we will be going to q2 okay so by 1 we will be going to q2 and by 2 we will be in the same state q3 only right so this is the corresponding state diagram for the given state table and you can already see that the making these state tables are very easy okay you can use this trick in the any examination and you will get the uh, corresponding state table so thank you for joining in today i hope that you have enjoyed the problem if you have any doubts or queries you can put it into the comment section and let us know for any quad updates okay so stay tuned thank you for joining us for this